So I've managed to get the evening off work for a change. Um, and I was going to go into Cornwall, but I left it a little bit too late. So I'm heading up to Great Staple Tour on Dartmoor for sunset. Sky is looking really promising for for a good one tonight. So um, we'll see how it goes when we get up there. It's really windy, so um, hopefully the clouds won't all blow away. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens when I get up there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've made it up to Dartmoor. Um, I've just parked the car. I'm gonna get my gear out and then uh, take a walk up the hill. It's not very steep, but it's a bit of a trek. 10, 20 minutes or so. So next time you see me, I'll probably be out of breath. Yay. <laughs> see you in a minute. Bye. You can tell I'm out of breath. I haven't been out and done some exercise for ages. Um, I'm currently on a little staple tour, no middle staple tour actually. Um, and then big staple tour is just in front of me over there. Great staple tour. So that's my destination. Nearly there. So, yay. <laughs> So I'm at the top of Great Staple Tour. Um, I'm not going to set my camera up just yet. Sun's still a little bit too high and it's right in front of my composition. So I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit lower in the sky and then uh, we'll set up the camera, get my shot. But there is a big bank of high cloud looking nice above um, the composition. So hopefully We'll get some nice pink sky or red sky tonight. Uh, and yeah, I'll get a shot that I'm after. Um, I'm actually doing a project for Dartmoor Magazine, uh, which will be out next year. Um, it's called My Favourite Tour, provisionally at the minute. And uh, I've picked this tour as my favourite. Uh, I think it's one of the most dramatic tours on the moor. It's... Um, very photogenic there's not an overabundance of compositions up here uh, but there's there's always different ways to shoot it uh, the tour consists of uh, two areas you've got the bit where i am now and then another stack of granite over to the west uh, so i'll try and incorporate both of those into my shot and uh, yeah so if i get one tonight that i like then i'll stick it in the bank for my next feature so uh, yeah, that's it, I think, for a minute. I'll see you in a sec.
so my camera's all set up, ready to go, just waiting for the light to drop. The only issue with uh, shooting at this time of year, um, with the sun in this direction, is that it's right in front of me, right in front of my shot. Um, and I don't mind shooting into the sun, but it does make things a hell of a lot difficult in post-processing. In Lightroom, uh, Photoshop, you have to do a couple of exposures, bracket your images uh, to avoid any lens flare. So I'm just going to wait for it to drop a little bit. And then see what happens from there but it's looking really nice the clouds looking lovely so get some color in that tonight and it will be lush so yeah looking forward to it see you in a bit Just quickly, um, I'm going to tell you what camera I use for those that are interested. I use a Canon 80D uh, with a Canon EFS 15 to 85 millimeter lens. Um, on the front, I've got my polarizer as I'm bracketing my images tonight. I'm I'm not using any filters. Uh, this week, I'm moving to the case system just to give them a, a try out, see what their polarizer and their filters are like, and. Um, I'll give them a test run on Thursday when I go into Cornwall off to Traverse Head I think again on Thursday so we'll see what happens when I get down there and see how they fare out. At the minute I'm using leaf filters which are good uh, and me being clumsy they're nice but um, if you drop one they will smash, they will break even though they're resin as I found out painting the other week. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my setup for the minute. Manfrotto B3 tripod, I won this in the competition. So um, it's nice and light. It's not uh, fantastic um, for really high winds, but it does for an evening out. And uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice little tripod, not too heavy to carry around with me. So uh, happy days. So this is my composition, classic view of Great Staple Tour on Dartmoor. Uh, as I said up before, I'm um, bracketing my images, so uh, just to show you the foreground, I've brought up the exposure on the live view a little bit, just so that you can see that. Um, if I bring it back down, you'll, uh, you'll see the sky. It's not looking too great at the minute. Um, but we'll see what happens when the sun goes down. The light's just about to fade um, from the sun, so we should hopefully start to get a bit of colour in a minute. So fingers crossed for that. So um, if you struggle for lens flare, this is quite an easy little trick you can do. Um, it takes a little bit of processing in Photoshop, but takes five minutes and there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. So here I've got the sun setting just in the gap of the rock there and there's some lens flare around here and it's not very nice, it's a little bit there as well. So if you just cover the shot, cover the sun with your hand like so, it eliminates all the lens flare. And then once you get into Photoshop you just open up as layers, do a layer mask, and then just paint over the area 
Um, you can do it either way. You can paint back over the sky or you can paint back over the area where the lens flow is and it will disappear just like magic. So um, if you've got any questions about that, just give me a shout in the comments and uh, I'll um, point you in the right direction. So this is what I was waiting for. Look at that sky. Absolutely beautiful. I knew it was a good idea to come out tonight. Used a day's, half a day's holiday at work, but worth it just for moments like this. Um, I think I've got the shots that I'm happy with now. Uh, I don't think much else is going to happen. So I'm going to call it a night and um, go home and have a cup of coffee and warm my hands up. It's getting a little bit chilly up here now. But yeah, look at that sky. It's absolutely stunning. I love the moors at this time of night. It's beautiful. Thank you.